to have broke out. Um, right. But, I mean, Trump supporters were just trying to m make a statement by saying, we're not going to back down, we're not going to be bullied into silence. Look, okay. there we are, more of them, and they're wearing masks because they're trying to hide their face because they most likely plan on doing something illegal or that could get them in trouble. Or, who knows, maybe they're just afraid to show their face while they're speaking their opinion. But there they are right there, folks. Some anti-Trump haters coming out here to spew hate. <laughs> the irony here is that the left likes to say we, you know, Trump supporters are spewing hate. How often do you see Trump supporters going to their protests and trying to shut them down? And the funny part here is, you know, they had stuff on the internet that they were going to show up to uh, silence Trump supporters. Look at the numbers. Just as Owen was saying, you know, earlier, he was talking about how this is like a, a microcosm of the entire nation. We have massive amount of Trump supporters here, and oh, oh, there's a, there's a fight breaking out. Hey, don't physically touch someone. That's assault. Yeah, you just assaulted him. You just assaulted him. We saw you. Are you deputized? Are you a peace officer, sir? I, I don't think you have the time. Have you heard of a thing called citizen's arrest? Citizen's arrest. Why are you aggressing the march? Keep going. Northbound lanes, please. Northbound, please. <laughs> wow. Interest oh, the police have separated them. <laughs> yeah. They're hiding in shame. Yeah, back off. You make back off. More willing to support Trump with this kind That's of behavior. Right. Exactly. Really? Is that what you want? Back off. That doesn't make any sense at all. Look. Think about what you're doing. Low IQ. I don't care what I'm doing. Yeah. Back him up. Oh. Back him up. Back him up. All right. Whoa. Back him up. Uh oh. Book. Why don't you guys pick up a book instead of protesting? You might learn something. I bet you don't even know the first thing about Abraham Lincoln. Don't tell me Lincoln was a Republican. One of Donald Trump's favorite presidents is Abraham Lincoln. He's trying to walk into Trump supporters into the march. These guys are, you know, they're they're posturing, they're acting violent. We've already seen them hit the veteran in the veteran's hat. Um, it's, I'm surprised the police have not actually apprehended these people yet. Oh man, we can't see the the anti-tolerant left just cannot handle Trump supporters coming out and having a peaceful march. Let's be perfectly clear. This is like six people, okay? This is these are a bunch of nobodies. These are nothings. They have nothing else to do with their life. 
So they're out here trying to stop a movement that actually would empower them, but they don't want to be empowered. They'd rather be lowlifes, and that's why they're out here. So that's fine. They have every right to be a lowlife. We're trying to not have them be lowlifes anymore, and that's what they're out here protesting. They just want to be lowlifes that live off the welfare state. That's all. And you know what the crazy part is, Owen, is that you can't even really kind of try and talk to them and speak reason to them because they've been so programmed and conditioned to have opposing beliefs that the it's impossible. Wearing, the guy's wearing Abraham Lincoln on his shirt who fought to conserve the Union, okay? So, like, why are they here? I mean, you know, it's just they have no common sense. They have they just need to pick up a history book for once in their life. They might they might not be out here. Well, yeah, Abraham Lincoln was a Republican. Yeah, and he actually wanted to conserve the Union. And what they're trying to do is actually break us apart. This is total commie crap. Okay, that's gonna break apart America and destroy our nation. It's crazy. All right. Yeah, and there right now he looks like he's got some kind of a wire as a belt. I don't know. It's kind of weird too. Um, That's a new fashion statement. Yeah, I guess I don't know. <laughs> That's a great way to use your your broken or you know extra charger cords. Recycling, right. recycling, recycling charger, charger cords. <laughs> can I can I ask you in res like with all due respect, with all due respect, can I ask you why you're I'm so not against Trump? To any questions? All right. So then then. Then what's the real reason that you're out here if you're not trying to talk somebody to Trump supporters? Got, somebody got to fight, fight that. Somebody got to. We can't just let them run over us like that. But how are you supposed to change people's minds and hearts if you're not going to talk to them? All I'm saying is this. If you guys expect to change people's opinions or their minds or their hearts, don't you think it would be good to talk to them? I'm not going to answer any questions. All right. So then what's the objective? Just to come out here and intimidate people? I'm not going to answer any questions. Well, I guess so. I guess we can assume that. If it's not about talking to people, it's just about intimidating people. Hey, man, I got another point. During the presentation, you're disrupting our freedom of assembly and freedom of speech. Right. So that doesn't make that doesn't make your your cause look very good at all. A lot of people argue that that's why Trump was elected, or at least a big a big wave of support. This is the sort of thing, especially if you're listening to what they're talking about, was what's going on on university campuses. And conservative speakers are like same exact thing happens, man. Well, well let's talk to him because look, I, we're just trying to figure out what your what your perspective is and what and why you're out here. I'm good. No, no comment. They don't have anything to say. <laughs> but, okay. Okay, just hide your face, brother. Go ahead and go into the Tea Party. Did the Boston Tea Party not wear disguises? Were they cowards? Were they cowards? So explain how this is like the Boston Tea Party. Explain how you guys out here, about, about six of you. No, you brought, you made that point, not me. You made the point. You interrupted my conversation. They said these people are cowards for covering their faces. Was... The explain Boston that. Ha, explain how that is conflated with the Boston Tea Party. How do you have to do with the Dude, Boston Tea Party? Hey, buddy, we, we are the Boston Tea Party. We are 1776 in America, worldwide, buddy. Yes, sir. So what's your whole? We wouldn't. Your whole fucking argument shut down right there. We wouldn't fucking do that. Why you gotta that. hide your face, man? So you wouldn't have anybody get elected. You just want to tear down the whole system? Yeah. So you just want to just scrap it all. And what would you replace it with? So if I have 12 cows. Okay. My neighbor has two. I don't need a government to tell me that we need to each have seven. So you want anarchy then? So I think they want anarchy. No, but they but they say they do. So how how is it? You can you can go ahead and say that you know whatever about. So you are a Mason. So you're a Mason and a communist at the same time. What are you then? What are you? Lock her up! Lock her up! Lock her up!
Thousands of years ago, there was a basic form of chivalry. Our ancestors would hear the drums of war, giving the warriors of the tribe a chance to organize and prepare a defense. 60 years ago, when foreign air forces were approaching filled with bombs, they had drums of their own, air raid sirens. But in the 21st century, there are silent weapons for quiet war. Pathogens added to the food and water and to the lining of plastics that destroy our vitality, turn off our hormones, and accelerate our journey towards death. I personally counter this onslaught with Anthroplex. Anthroplex is designed with known organic concentrated herbs to create the basic foundation to normal metabolic activity inside the human body. Discover why Anthroplex is turning so many heads today. It's time for us to take our bodies back into our own hands and it starts at InfoWarsLife.com with Anthroplex.